Welcome fellow adventurers to another exciting travel vlog. Today we embark on a journey from the vibrant city of Makodi to Bokolo government area in Nigeria. I'm here in the heart of Makodi ready to kick off our travel adventure. We will be driving and exploring the cultural heritage of Bokolo government area. So let's hit the road. We will be exploring Bokolo government area in 5 days. The one which is today is the arrival day and going out on a night tour to view how Boko Town looks like at night. As we leave Makodi behind, the landscape gradually changes, offering breathtaking views of rural Nigeria. The road takes us through large green fields and villages showcasing the country's natural beauty. We have arrived in Boko Lugu government area known for its rich cultural heritage and friendly locales. Our first stop is at the hotel where we will be lodging. We will be going out from here to explore the beautiful town of Boko. A quick shower so we can go out in the evening to see how Boko town looks like at night. It's morning already, so we are stepping out. It's day two, so today we will be driving around major roads in Boko to explore the town. No visit to Boko Lugu government area will be complete without a stroll through the puzzling Boko town. Boko is a town located in the Benue state of Nigeria. It is often referred to as the heart of the thief, as it is considered the cultural and political center of the thief people who are one of the largest ethnic groups in Nigeria. The thief people are predominantly farmers known for their agricultural practices and their traditional way of life. They have a rich cultural heritage which includes vibrant festivals, rituals and traditional ceremonies. Bogo serves as a hub for showcasing and preserving the thief culture. In recent years, Boko has experienced urbanization and economic growth with the establishment of industries and commercial activities. It serves as a trading center for agricultural produce, particularly yams, which are a staple crop in the region. The town has a bustling market where traders from different parts of the state come to buy and sell goods. Boko also houses various educational institutions, including tertiary institutions like the Federal University of Agriculture, Makodi, and the Benue State Polytechnic. These institutions contribute to the educational development of the thief people and the broader Nigerian society. This is Dangote Cement Factory in Boko. Dangote Cement Factory in Boko is a cement manufacturing plant. Wow, it's another exciting moment, it's day 3. So today we are visiting the Toti Palace. Oh, it's quite unfortunate, Toti is not around. We are told that he traveled for a meeting, but he will be back tomorrow. So our days in Boko will be extended instead of 5 days, we will now spend 6 days in Boko. So tomorrow we will be back again to see if we will be able to see the thief. It's day 4, so we are here again in Toti Palace. One of the prominent landmarks is the Toti Palace, the traditional seat of the thief Paramount ruler known as the Toti 
The Totif is regarded as the paramount traditional ruler of the Tif people and his palace is an important symbol of the Tif identity and heritage. But it's quite unfortunate the Totif is not still back, he's not yet back in town. So instead we'll be moving around Boko and we'll be going to the Boko Local Government Council and the rest. Then tomorrow we'll continue with our initial sketch. Here is where the past two are being buried. So there are four in numbers. So if the two die, this is where they will be buried and it's a big place in which all the two will be buried here. The town of Boku is home to several notable landmarks and institutions. This is the Low Government Council of Boku. The low government chamber and that is the offices up there. This is post office Boko local government area. Yeah, it's the five already. So today is a visit to major towns in Boko. I plan that there are so many places, or so many uh, towns, major places in Boko, like Ikumbu and the rest. So today we'll be heading to those uh, major towns. So let's hit the road. So this is Ikumbu town in Boko low government area. <laughs> that is the market there, people are going to buy and sell it. There is nothing much happening here, nothing much in this town. This is uh, Ikumbu, Ikumbu town. Alright. So we'll still go around Appa town in Boko. This is Appa. Appa is a town in Boko, low government area. And this is the general hospital. From here, uh, I'm going to the next uh, town. Next town is Luka, Luga. So from here, I'm uh, moving down to Luga. You can see the environment. <laughs> Everything is just natural here. So you see buildings up there. It's it's a lovely environment and it's a, a very nice environment. Uh, and there is a water there. Wow! Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Heading out the six covering Boko Lu government area. community in Boko low government area you can see it's a busy community everybody are busy you can see cyclists are out there and it's a busy and today is their market day i just finished eating so i just finished eating so this is the best restaurant in this pengi pengi community and today we'll be visiting villagers so we'll go to Boko villages. Now, the 
journey is still going on smooth and it's, it's nice. We are touring Go Gogolo government area. So we ensure that we touch all the towns in Gogolo. This is the way to the stream where they are fishing water and there is a plantation uh, there. So we'll see the plantation, see how it's like and I learned there is pepper that they are planting there. So you will come with me, let's go there and see how the pepper is like, how it is like to plant pepper. Anyways, this is planting season, you will not see the fruit, the ripe one. I'm in pepper plantation. So it's the pepper farm. Wait in the plant here. Na pepe. Na pepe. Okay. And like this, na the seed where they inside all na the I na, don't na, na, na pepe the pepe inside. Na pepe. No, put water. Water. Oh, okay. So na the seed here you throw. Uh, na the seed. So if you see the seed, or you there inside. Okay, you don't do small, small ones. Okay, yeah. okay. So now the seed where you've been put, make it, it come up like this. Mm. Okay, well done. So now you pour water so that the thing will grow. Okay. Well done. Okay, guys, this is the pepper you can see pepper here it's a very big plantation well done sir yeah and what they are doing they are watering the farm this one yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's our final day. So today we'll be exploring villages in Boko. Yeah, the fishing water 
I learned this is the road to where the, they are getting water in this village. Well done. Yeah. So what are they coming from here? This is where they are fishing water, they are digging the hole. If you dig hole, water will come out and it will be a bit clean, better than these other ones. So you can see water coming out. Sekusha. Big boy, you want to fish water? Yeah. Okay, now here you won't fish. Yeah. Okay, bring on now, make a fish for you. <laughs> so this one not the finish, you know go dry. Huh? Have you done something like this before? Have you fished water like this in the village? <laughs> Fishing water from a hole. This is stream. And for you to get a clean water, you need to dig a hole, small hole. And water will come out, then you now fish. So you see, better than fishing from here. You see, this one is not clean. It's not good. So to get a clean water, you have to dig a small hole. After digging a hole, water will come out. You now fish it from here. And it's clean because it's being filtered and Mama. it's better. So I wanna say good morning. Good morning, I'm waiting. Ndebe. 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 What's your remember? Uh -huh. So morning. Hey. I'll find this. This one don't fool. <clears throat> Hey, I don't go spoil the water. You dirty, sure. I'm a little mad. You guys want to do something like me? so guys you see that is the dirty water that are throwing away so while i was fishing the water fell and it was coming down to the hole so they have to fish the dirty one out so the dirty one that are fishing it out Ah, sun rising, looking so beautiful. Wow, beautiful idea. <laughs> How are you? Say fine. Hmm? Say hello. Say hello. 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 <laughs> Should I carry for you? Okay. Well done, eh? Now, bye bye. Yeah. Yeah.
This planting season okra. And see the okra there. Okra leaf. You can see this is okra. They just harvested. <laughs> yeah, you can see the farm there. So she just came to harvest this okra. Thank, Thank you. you. So you'll go cook. I will come chop. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, no? Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Okay, this is planting season and what they are doing here is planting of yam. This water. Okay. So what's in the inside this water? No. Nah, chemical? Chemical. Like on this side. Okay. So why didn't they put this one now? Made they, why didn't they put the chemical? The this one are waiting, olive oil. Mm. <laughs> this one um <laughs> not see chemical too. <laughs> no, this one don't chemical. Mm. I'm not seeing oil. Okay, so then they put them all uh, inside mm. this one too. Mm. Okay. So now after you don't you put water. Come put the chemical. Yes. When you put the chemical, you can't carry them. Put. Uh -huh. Then wash them. Okay. So this one now, the one where they don't wash, finish. Uh, so now this one now, you go carry plants. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how did they plant one? If you show me. So guys, you see, we are learning how to plant yam. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. you put them inside. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that, you cover. All right. Thank you very much. Guys, so we are learning how to plant yam. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, ju not just the chop yam alone. Know how to the plant them. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Oh. This is perfect killer. Yeah, clove, clove P refuse 20% agricultural insecticide. Okay, so the accent is just to put it so that uh, insect will not attack, yeah. will not attack it. So this is fine. Vaco limited, a trusted name in agri imputes. Okay, so this is perfect killer. It is used for planting. So you wash your yam with it before you plant. Okay. As the sun sets on our memorable journey from Makodi to Bokulu government area, we reflect on the incredible experiences we have had, the people we have met and the rich cultural heritage we have encountered along the way. Nigeria never ceases to admit with its beauty and diversity. Thanks for joining me on this fantastic adventure. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video and also click on the subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not subscribed to this channel for more exciting travel vlogs like this. Thank you.